What up, Internet? What's you know? I'm here Sunday morning, adding some audio in here to talk about what we did on Saturday. As you guys could tell, I normally do the, the day before, the day after. The day before, then the day after. <laughs> Typically, uh, finish the week in the video, or the, uh, finish the week, finish the work on the video, and then uh, I do the audio in the next morning. So it's kind of this uh, offset day thing, but that is uh, that is kind of working out the best for me right now. Instead of trying to do audio and stuff uh, in the middle of the night like a weirdo, it's best to do it in the early morning when the sun comes up, which is right now. Get a delicious cup of coffee and uh, talk about what's going on in the fish room. So the construction continues on. Uh, the uh, the concrete has set. You can definitely walk on it now. Um, well, as of yesterday, today it should be fine. I have a couple of uh, probably 48 hours, well, 36 hours or something on it, which is enough time to uh, uh, pull the plastic off of it, the polyurethane sheet that is on it, and um, be enough to uh, walk back and forth and all that kind of stuff, and. Uh, we uh, we ended up agreeing on the um, the uh, the different colors of concrete. Kind of just looks kind of cool, and uh, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna end up not painting the floor. I'm sure if that comes up at some point in time, um, we can always just paint around the tank stands or whatever if we need to. If that's what if, if that's what we we're gonna do, but uh, we we both kind of like it a little bit rustic. Um, as you can see here, I started out sanding this stuff, uh, but it, it kind of popped pretty tall for uh, for sanding. So I ended up using a drywall saw to just cut out what was there. And then I hit it with a piece of sandpaper real quick after that. Um, and it uh, worked out just fine to get uh, the rest of that spray foam out of there uh, that was in the way. And uh, we ended up going with a espresso colored trim. Oh, it's a dark trim. I don't normally do dark trim on that many things very often, so uh, nice to be able to do that. I think it contrasts really well in person. I don't know really how... On video, it just kind of looks black, but, uh, you know, in person, it's just a, re it's a really dark brown, and I think it, in person, it kind of pops. I got... I had some some people saying that the coloring seems a little bit weird on some of my videos in regards to the uh, the paint colors on the walls and stuff like that, which I agree. The camera... I am working through uh, getting a little bit better uh, figuring out the coloring in the room because of the um, the intense lighting and and the inability for the camera to really focus on anything because there's not, no real objects in the room. Um, I think at the end of the video here, I kind of pan around the room and you can just see the the focus on the camera walking off because it just can't it just can't handle uh, picking up the uh, to focus with no object to for it to focus on to so uh, as you can see the lovely Victoria came and helped me yesterday she'll be helping today also if uh, everything works out we got some people coming by to help uh, at least move in one of the tanks I hope we can move in the rest of the tanks to get the truck unloaded we have a big uh, uh, 32 foot uh, I think it's a 32 foot uh, semi basically <laughs> uh, parked out front of our house so we need to get that unloaded it's full of all the fish tanks and all that stuff so hopefully we get that unloaded today and uh, I'm gonna be rolling up this this morning up into the upper area to finish the uh, insulation and the storage area up above the room I'm just gonna go out there and uh, slap that in we got everything together yesterday to uh, be able to do that as you can see on the trim here there is a little bit of uh, edge work on the concrete that I'll need to do I'll just be uh, I'll just be doing a little uh, patches along there uh, because I had to pull the form board out to get uh, to get uh, uh, poured correctly to figure out what was going on in that corner and so there's a little bit of leftover uh, you can see some of the spray foam there. I'll end up just uh, digging that out with like a screwdriver real quick and then uh, doing a little bit of patchwork along the wall there. Not not a huge ordeal, and that's something that's, uh, that I do very commonly uh, is just, a, you know, repair crack or whatever and that kind of stuff. So 
that's not a huge uh, ordeal. But as you, you can see here, the the uh, concrete really filled in the uh, the dip area, and it isn't it isn't perfect. It really isn't perfect. But when you walk around the room, you aren't uh, suddenly in a weird lower area <laughs> anymore. Um, so I'm 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 pretty satisfied with it. I would give it a I'd give it an eight out of ten. What is that? Four four out of five stars. So it uh, it it's not a finished product. And some people talked about using self leveling, um, and I could have used self leveling, uh, but let's be honest here. When we talk about using the self leveling stuff, it is uh, it is uh, forty dollars a bag versus um, seven dollars a bag. And uh, I piled through. Let me do some quick math here. Uh, 16 bags of concrete. And if we do the maths in our head, that would be, what, $750 worth of self-leveling versus the uh, $90 approximately that I spent on the uh, concrete to get that, that filled in. So um, I could always uh, buy a couple bags of self-leveling and really smooth out the uh the finish on this room um and we may do that in the future someday if this room was um let's say that this room turns into a yoga studio or something right um then i would do it then and then put carpet over that um with a pad and it would be serviceable for that at, at this point um it would never really be a finished concrete like uh if you were to go into like a restaurant or something like that it'll never really be that uh, that quality of a floor. If you really needed that, we would have to break up the whole slab and uh, pour a whole new one if we wanted to do that. But uh, that's not really in the books. It's a that's a lot of money that would just be spent to uh, end up with the exact same thing that we had, which is a concrete floor. Um, so we decided to to not endorse that issue. Um, and if we ever do add a building back here, we have an area that we would end up doing that. We would add the building where our parking area is and then end up uh removing this building probably is well i think what we would do if we were if we ever to do that but the, we're not we're not uh we're not that at that point with this uh this new house of ours we're not we're not doing that that would be years and years and years down the road when uh technology would be completely different and we'll probably end up 3d printing it or something so <laughs> um that's just uh it's just a little bit of uh, conversation for you. Uh, some of the news on the house that's going on: we have a we have a leak in our new roof, and so we're having to get that repaired this week. Uh, I'll be off site, so I won't be able to be doing that repair. Um, but we um, it has been the wettest the wettest winter in history. <laughs> in the northwest up here uh so it does beg to reason that uh things that were gonna leak are leaking uh as far as um roofs and walls and uh foundations and any of that kind of stuff so you know if if, it, if there was a winter for it to happen it would be this winter's but we're gonna um this winter's yeah this winter but we're gonna get that sorted out and it's not gonna be a huge ordeal so like i said today uh, I'll be getting the storage area and the insulation up above done. And uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to shoot that because I don't really have anywhere to put a camera up there. So I might end up just putting in the insulation and then shooting, you know, just a long shot, show you guys what was going on up there. Um, and then uh, just to connect the uh, exhaust fan. So not a huge, not a lot of huge craziness going on today. Um, the craziness will be hopefully moving in the tank. So I got some uh, a couple buddies coming to help out with that, and that'll be pretty good. Uh, I'm stoked to uh, to get really get into the feeling um, that we're we're down to the to the bottom stretch here. We're bottom stretch, cutting my thumb off. We had a lot of uh, uh, delays. See, there, there's Vicky. She's being the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and being a door is tiring. Yeah. Um, I have to say it's uh, it's pretty awesome to have a partner that's down to do this kind of stuff and have somebody that's really involved. Um, 
we got the strike plates on the uh, all the outlets and stuff now that's a real finish when you know you start putting plate cover plates on outlets you know you know you are close you know what i'm saying um and uh, i'm pretty stoked to be at this point i'm pretty stoked to uh have a partner that's willing to do this kind of stuff with me and you know the more stuff we do at this house the more fun we're having the more uh the better things are going and, and i'm i'm pretty stoked at, honestly uh, i got some big projects coming up that are going to help uh they're going to help fund the uh the repair and replacement of all the shrimp and all that kind of stuff um so i'm i'm pretty excited things are gonna things are are looking up no matter how many uh no matter how many difficulties there are in life we'll just keep uh go, moving ever forward and uh as you guys can see i still have um i didn't do the trim around the door because we're not going to do the trim around the door until we put in the other door um, and those will be pocketed in white because that's just a pretty typical finish but uh that's what's going on in the fish room guys later